The approach to the Kiyomi's Temple in Kyoto has a breathtaking townscape. It's lined with hundreds of beautiful traditional houses. Lots of people. Is this the morning rush hour? No. It's already around noon. A quiet, calm spot is what I'm looking for. This is a hustling, bustling tourism temple. I'm so sick and tired of it. Here is the perfect solution. There is actually a secret path to the temple. The left street is Gojuzaka. The right is the one that you should take. You can go up there with peace of mind and sense of security. The area around here is named Torinobe or Bird Neighbor in English. In samurai period, only epic clothes people were able to afford cremation. Then what happened to the other people? They just left the bodies of their families on this hillside of which hawks had a clear view. Yes, sky burial was a common practice. I met nobody on the way. Look at those countless gravestones. It's perfectly quiet, calm, and a little bit creepy. We almost made it to the top of the hill. Just remember this, there are no souvenir shops on the way. Fushimi Inner Shrine is the number one favorite travel spot with foreigners. The mysterious red torii catches the eyes of millions of visitors each year. But this is all you see in promotion videos to encourage tourism in Japan. It can be the worst travel spot in Kyoto. This is not the Tokyo station at 8 a.m. It's a weekend today. What is that? Do I have to wait in line before going through the Tori Gate Tunnel? How can I take a picture here? I came here to see the spiritual Tori Gates, not the crowds. The air is absolutely not good. I feel like I'm going to choke. Everyone can only move very slowly. It looks like I'm in a large intestine or a drain pipe. That is disgusting. That looks like a coal miner in the 60s. It is a dead industry. I hear sighs everywhere. They are all saying it's crazy or it's too crowded. You have a chance to shoot the best pictures. The right tunnel is always packed, while the left is less crowded. After going through the right tunnel, 70% of visitors go further up to the mountains. However, when they return from there, they have to take other paths to where they started. So try to loop the two tunnels a couple of times, then you will see a clear tunnel like this, even though the other one is a stuffed sausage. Don't go in the wrong way like she does. It's a rule that everybody respects here. Giyun is Japan's most beautiful geisha street. The traditional townhouses and tea houses are absolutely amazing. Geiko and Maiko are in elegant kimono clothes. If you're lucky, you might have a chance to see them. The almost living cultural heritage. What is it? Before reaching the geisha streets, it's so packed that I cannot move. Why are so many people here? Is a ball game going on tonight? No way. Kyoto doesn't have a baseball team. I almost made it to the geisha streets. It's just one block to go. This is not the main street, it's just a small back alley. Why? This alley is blocked by a tourist group. Okay. I give up going ahead. Maybe I can join them to listen to the guide. Where are Geiko and Maiko? I cannot find them. All I see today is a bunch of tourists. 
Gekko and Michael are not here. In the first place, I don't see Japanese people. They're all Chinese. This alley is hacked by Russians. To avoid busy traditional geisha streets, come here at night after 8 p.m. Look at this. The alley is super quiet. What we see right now is a nice cover page of a Kyoto guidebook. This is the best part of the Gion area. How about the main street? Just so people are hanging around. Arashiyama is a tourist area known for its beautiful nature. In summer, the grain and water are amazing. In fall, the autumn leaves are breathtaking. However, it can be the worst place depending on how to get there. Look at the morning rush in Kyoto Station. No way. People are blessed to rack to go to work. I'm sure it's Sunday today. Not work at the day. The situation here is actually worse than on weekdays. Too many people. I feel dizzy. This is a platform, Arashiyama. I have no idea when I can get to the end of the platform. The biggest problem here is that the second train rides like a senior truck line. They can only allow trains come every 20 minutes. Can I get in? No. This is like Shinjuku Station at 9 p.m. If I cannot board it, I have to wait 20 minutes. Are there really tourists looking for wrecks in natural landscapes? This is a tr train bound for the suburbs, not for downtown. You can see people with large backpacks, suitcases, and baby strollers. I'm already exhausted before getting there. I don't believe I have to freeze like this for 20 minutes. To avoid the morning rush experience, the street car is the best option. From Kyoto Station, take a subway to Uzumasa Tenjingyo Station, then change to Randen Street Car. The last stop is Arashiyama. It takes 30 minutes more. However, you can enjoy its retro vibe of the 60s. In bed, the streetcar station is the best gateway to Arashiyama. The vibe there is so festive, having so many souvenir shops and restaurants. Nishiki Ichibe Street is so popular with tourists from all around the world. It's lined with various types of shops. The way they display their items is absolutely amazing. I really like the street before the pandemic was over. As tourists comes back again, the street is the worst tourist spot in Kyoto. How come so many people come to this small alley? This is not a one-way street. All I hear is the words too crowded. This is a traditional Japanese omelette shop. I want to drop by, but it's too busy. As I go farther, it gets more packed. I can see tears in people's eyes. Usually to get food to go, you have to wait in line. It's so sad that there are no rooms for lying on the street. It's ironic that the shops don't go well when there are more people on the street. I'm afraid of Sampi. You can still appreciate this, this alley. Come here at night after p.m. This alley turns into an art gallery of Ito Jagaji, a very popular painter in the 1700s. His works spread museums across Japan, so it's a good chance to see them all. The whole shopping street is proud of him because he was born to a grocery on the street. Yosaka Shrine is the most iconic landmark of Kyoto. It's a gateway to famous temples like Kyumizdera. Whoever travels to Kyoto visits the temple. 
so it can be extremely hard to get there. This is the bus terminal at Kyoto Station. 206 and 86 buses are the only ones that go to Yasaka Shrine and Kyumizera Temple approach. Look at this line. Where is the end? Even though buses come every 10 minutes, the line is getting longer. This is ridiculous. To board the bus, you have to skip two of them. I think you have to wait more than 30 minutes just to get on. This is the bus stop at the approach of the temple. It's not easy to return to Kyoto Station. Look at this line. All buses coming to the stop are already full of passengers. This is why buses come often and the line keeps getting longer. I wonder when they can come home. No way. This is a 13 can. They still have to make many stops before arriving in Kyoto Station. There's actually no need to make stops because no more passengers can get on and no one in there can not get off. There's another way to get to Shaka Shrine and Kiyomizera Temple. A Kyoto Station takes the subway to Karasun Station and changes the Hankyo Line to get off at the Kawaramachi Station. From the station, you have to walk more. Don't worry. The streets are lined with nice souvenir shops and restaurants all the way up to the shrine and temple. It's a lot better than waiting for 206 buses for 30 minutes. People dream of a bamboo forest in Saigon, Kyoto. It's breathtaking to go down the path in the bamboo trees. During the pandemic, this place was quiet and relaxing. Lots of people. I see a lot of people. I think there are more humans than bamboo trees today. How come I take a picture of the past in the beautiful bamboo? I really want COVID to come back again. To enjoy a peaceful bamboo forest, come to this place before 8 a.m. It is way less crowded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.